It's high noon. I suppose, but soon, especially, needs to do in a lot of space to do anything with, right? If he has no space, like, well, he's in trouble. Man, that's huge! What are you doing, no? Four kills in that self destruct Okay! And Pine with a couple shots. So here we go. Tactical crouching to save his life. He manages to make it out. Oh, the time not so lucky. Oh, no, Pine! It's Pine time! And oh, my it's no. Pine time! The Pine time is real. Gets stopped by OGE. But that's okay. Kangri catches Shonak. That's a problem. Kangri got the D-Mech on the Mecho as well. Single handling kind of turning this fight around. And now it's just Mono on the point. Xavier is there as well. Does get two with the pulse bomb and kills Gagory. What? It's just a one on one with Otto and Xavier be now. Oh, and this is about to point B. Can they do it? Pine comes in at the last moment. Otto trying to win this duel to get it there, but Xavier be right there. Otto does get the kill to Pine, but now Mecco returns. Otto got Xavier be two fighting the 1v2, and he gets both kills. They don't complete B, but man, what an effort by Otto. It was both Tracers popping off Doha because if Samuel yeah. doesn't get those kills, there's not even a chance for the defense. The rest of Shanghai are back, though. 10 seconds, Jonak right there. I can't believe they stopped him for so long here. Now Sabe will be down. Shanghai should be able to finally get B. They will. Really important that Nevix eats up the flash and then drops down. Architect has found Pullman in the meantime and he's back for more. Lynx is in trouble. It's going to be the barrage coming down and Raucus falls. That's four kills for Architect. The Architect of Houston's demise. I'm reusing that one. I don't care. It's going to be dangerous for Boston to challenge. Look at this placement here. The hold as well to make sure both main tanks are caught in the blast. Parting shot onto Jay Hong as Jay Hong goes in for the counter engage with Heed hanging out on the high ground. Not exactly where you want to leave him, but as far as the Fine. part is concerned, Soul Dynasty, is there anybody here who will actually be able to touch in time? Yes, Fury the hero yet again for the London Spitfire, nearly ending it. They will be able to turn it around as now Prophet will find his targets. That was so close to not even happening. They reward Fury by transcending him on the card. He stays alive through that. Zuba is the only one alive now. It's a really bad spot. See, Glenn is in the back line. Lynx had to respond now. Gambler, can he get away? He sprouted himself some wings, and yeah, he does fly on away. Gino's been taken down by Muma, though, but Lynx gets very little with that Dragon Blade. And Flatter might just do a bit better. He does. It's three kills. That's what you're looking for if you're sold. This is how you stem the bleeding. It's one, though. Now they're going to Valkyrie, both teams. Unbelievable. Mono survives. Mistakes though with the dead eye. And Ark gets around the corner just in time to stay alive. Sevioli with the two kills. The player's going to come after him. You can take a look though. The clips from Architect. You can see why. You know, since he's come into Overwatch League, we, we oh. talked. Love to see that. So it's going to be Genji and Widowmaker now for the Soul Dynasty with Lukin having switched over. Does not fare too well in his first foray into Lixitan Retreat. Munchkin. Who does that?